let's show you what's going on in El Cajon. It is beautiful, loving the high clouds out there. It is a little brisk, I'll give you that. I was outside for a little bit. Temperatures are generally in the 50s, a few 60s like Oceanside, Downtown, and Imperial Beach. Look at Palomar Mountain, only 34 degrees, Mount Laguna, just above freezing. This next one that's going to be coming in, the next storm that's coming in Friday night, we will be talking about a little bit more snow for our mountains. Add on the wind on top of those cold temperatures and make sure you have a jacket when you're outside. 29 mile per hour sustained winds in Julian. Those are those constant winds blowing about 10 to 15 mile per hour winds up and down our coastline and for some of our inland neighborhoods as well. So the storm that we saw this morning and overnight now pushing off to the east. This next one again, Again, is a colder one that will dive down Friday night into Saturday and there's another one all the way out there that will be arriving late next week. So it's going to be dry most of today. We saw some rain early. It'll be dry the rest of the day into tomorrow. Showers arrive late Friday night into Saturday. Peak timing at this time, I would say starting to begin after about 11 a 11 p.m. rather on Friday, continuing through about 10, 11 a.m. on Saturday. But most of it's going to be between like 1 and 4 in the morning. So we've kind of been getting the, you know, outdoor plans. If you've been getting kind of lucky as far as the rainfall you know, impacts. Next week, spring starts. Tuesday, we'll be back in the 70s, and not only at the coast, but also for our inland neighborhoods. And then rain late next week, now pushing off to Thursday or Friday. Of course, we'll be watching that one closely. Mount Laguna and Palomar may see a little bit of snow overnight Friday into Saturday, but not expecting any in Julian. Guys?